mean? That's what, that's what you're doing. So you and I, we have to, you know, internalize adhillatin ala al-mu'mineen first. Humbled before the believers. A'izzatin ala al-kafirin. And they are tough, harsh, authoritative against kafirin. And kafirin here is not non-Muslims. Kafirin is here enemies of Islam. Kafirin is here who are trying to undermine Islam. The Muslims were not harsh with all non-Muslims in Medina. Who were they harsh with? The enemies of Islam. Those who were trying to undermine Islam, attack Islam, insult the religion, say things against the Prophet, say things against the Qur'an. Those who were trying to attack Medina from, from, from Mecca. Those people, they have to be harsh towards them. They're not going to back off. They're not going to take it sitting. They stand up for themselves. So what we're learning here is a fine line between we're not arrogant because we're humble. At the same time, it's not like you can walk all over us either. We stand up for ourselves. We don't take it sitting down. Our, our, you know, our young men, the, a lot of you that go to public school, young men and you know, our girls, they go to public school and people pass comments at them. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself. Don't take it just, oh, I have to be patient and you know, I have to be humble and you're walking like, you know, you've got a back surgery or something, your back is lowered and, and you think this is like Islamic, that you have to you know, look like you're, you're, you're weak or you're sick or something. No. We have to lower our gaze, that's fine. But that doesn't mean we have to lower our heads. It doesn't mean that. We have to be confident people. We have to instill confidence in our deen so much, so much, that when we see kufr, we, we look at its inferiority. We see how inferior and pathetic it is. And we see the pride and the greatness that Allah has given us in Islam. We're not arrogant, but we certainly are confident. That's what we have to be. أَعِزَّةٍ عَلَى الْكَافِرِينَ And then Allah goes further to say, لَا يَخَافُونَ لَوْ مَتَلَائِمٍ they're not afraid of the blame of any blamer. In other words, people will say things to us. People will accuse of us of things. People will accuse, literally laum, accuse. People will accuse us of things. The Peter Kings of the world will accuse us of things before Congress. They will do so. But we won't be afraid of it. We're not gonna go, do you know what he said about Muslims? Oh my God, what's gonna happen now? No, 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 no. We, were, we, were, we knew what was gonna happen. We knew it was going to come, and we're not afraid of it. We don't have to explain ourselves to you. We don't, you don't have to tell us, you guys are crazy, this, that, or the other, and we have to exhaust our breath telling you, no, 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 we're not crazy, we're normal, we're okay. No, no, that's what they want. They want to keep us busy, constantly telling them that we're not crazy. That we're not, Islam, Muslims are not violent, Muslims are not extremists, Muslims are not this, Muslims are not that. They want us to make a whole list of things that Muslims are not. So we never get to tell them what Muslims are. Right, that's the point. You know, you're constantly busy explaining yourself. لا يخافون في الله لو متلائمين. لا يخافون في الله لو متلائمين. And then finally, Allah says, يجاهدون في سبيل الله. Allah Azza wa Jal argues, يجاهدون في سبيل الله. They struggle as hard as they can in Allah's path. In other words, this ummah has come together because that this ummah is on a journey. It's on a journey. It has a goal, and it's got to get to that goal. And they have to take care of the business inside the house before they can reach that, they can deal with the higher goal. You have to have your house in order to do bigger and better things. The, our, Allah has made us an ummah for a very high cause. It's called a jihad fi sabilillah. We're not afraid of that term. It's a noble term in the Qur'an. And it has nothing to do with the craziness associated with it. We have to confidently study this term and understand what it refers to. It refers to the mission of all messengers. All messengers were doing jihad fi sabilillah. Isa alayhi salam did jihad fi sabilillah. Musa alayhi salam did jihad fi sabilillah. Muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam did jihad fi sabilillah. They struggled in Allah's path. Allah gave them a mission and they struggled in it. This ummah has a mission. It has a goal to accomplish. It has to clarify the teachings of this deen to the rest.